Hi guys, Tos from Cranky Gamers. Apologies for the audio, I'm in my 3D printing room, which is a bit echoey. Um, but anyway, got a product, been sent these fantastic looking things. Um, I was sent these by a Cranky Gamers listener and I followed it up and brilliantly the company Floating Grip have sent me not only one for myself but one to give away. So there will be a one to give away. So stay tuned. First off, we're going to have a small unboxing. Let me show you what this thing actually is. And I'm then going to install it and I'm going to video that. Let's see where we go with the editing and I'll put it all together and you guys should be watching that right now. So what do we have? We have a thing called Floating Grip. We'll come to that later. Basically, it's made by a company in Denmark. It was made by a young lady actually um, for her boyfriend's PS3 back in the day. There are videos on YouTube. If you go and search Floating Grip, you will see the installation that I'm about to show you anyway. But I'll give you my personal thoughts on how easy it was and how it went. So stay tuned. We'll be on the end of this video. But basically, let's look at the back. It gives you like a kind of look at what's going to happen. It is a wall mount for your PlayStation 4. They do it for the PlayStation 4 Pro. They also do it for the PlayStation 4 Standard. So here we go. As you can see there, it's like, well, I think the easiest way to show, let's get into it. Let's get into the box. Let me empty things out. And there's a few things I want to talk about first off. Obviously basic instruction manual, and that's that's all that's in the box. And I'll show you what's, to, what's it about. Now the good things I like, small businesses doing just little things that are kind of really good. And this is it. So not only have you got the screws and the raw plugs included, but you've actually got the screw bit they put the screw bit in there um, which is really cool they also believe it or not put a little bit of chewing gum in the box as well now the other nice little touch before I actually show you the components and give you an idea of what happens another great little touch like I say this is well made well produced you've got the template within the instructions so basically slap that on the wall that way actually that on the wall bang 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 pencil screw your raw plugs put them in and away you go now I will just show you finally what's in the bag for the unboxing. Pretty straightforward actually and very very clever. So the premise of it is kind of like that in a way. So you've got two very strong nylon cords, you will not break them. I've pulled them and tried. So you've got your standard long cord and in a fashion it goes kind of over that way like that on the wall. Don't forget they're going to be away from the wall. You then get the short one and this is the thing you've got to remember, you go up up under that one, over them two and down like that. And basically then guys, it's just a matter of grabbing the long cord, putting it in the ridge of your PS4 Pro, lean it forward, get the short cord, lift it up, put that over the top. As I, as I can say, you can see in the official install video, I like them, I think it's great. I can't wait to try it. I'm actually gonna try and put lights behind my pre at PlayStation and I may show future videos or pictures on my Twitter account at Tozol, T-O-Z-O-L, to how it finally gets done. But I'm really impressed with that. No point opening this. There's room for your two controllers or one controller just below. Again, it's the plastic button scenario. Two plastic buttons screwed into the wall. You get your controller and just basically hook it around. And as I say, on the finished video, guys, floating grip. Check them out. These retail currently about £35 each. Like I say though guys, great news. They've sent me an extra one to give away on the show. I will be giving this away probably through all my formats. That being on the Facebook group, Twitter, at Tozol, the Cranky Gamers podcast on a Sunday, and the Midweek Weekly. I'll let it run for about two weeks. Not decided how I'm going to do it yet. But that's it. It's the Floating Grip, made by a company in Denmark. I can't wait to install it. Hopefully that's on the end of the video. Until now guys, hope you've enjoyed, because I'm really looking forward to this, the floating grip for the PS4 Pro. Back in a second. Cross guys. Yep, yeah, that's tight. That's way tighter. Yep. Yeah. That is tight, so we're done. We're done with the insulation part, and I might leave that in, I might jump cut straight to this bit, but if I have jump cut, there it is, the three things are in. Now let's get the strings, and let's hopefully get this PlayStation on the wall. What if I can't have the strings in? So first off, guys, let's let me gently put the PlayStation down on the floor. I'm undecided where I'm gonna put mine first. The first thing you do 
if you drop now you can already see this one's a little bit I probably over tightened that so there's a there's a thing for you still tight just a slight you probably if I'm being honest use a manual screwdriver because of this now hopefully you see that's got a well that's I suppose if you get these tight behind, there that's perfect so that's how they're supposed to sit okay the first one now we get the smaller one and this is the one that took me a bit of looking is you have to go under and then over again I want these to fit tight and the tighter they are so that's what you do with that and that's basically as deft as it sounds that's it you just drop the camera down a touch oh by the way quick little tip tea towel tape to the wall catch all the debris so there we are now hopefully this is going to do it now on the video you've obviously got to be very careful basically drop the playstation on on the last ridge like that make sure it's on obviously keep hold and then get the top one and drop that in there and it is tight it's meant to be tight Basically, guys, that is it. Now, these circles, I must admit, they didn't have these in the video. They had a basically more flat design. Now, I'm not, you've obviously got to find somewhere better than there. And obviously there, but that is solid. That is not going anywhere at all. Now, obviously, the PlayStation is upside down for me. So, I wanted the cables at this end to go into my trunk in. Now, that might may change. I don't know. Probably will. Because that'll bug the hell out of me. And I'll sort cave in later. But guys, in a nutshell. I'm going to put the controller ones here. But I will undo the controllers just to show you. It's pretty. It's virtually the same. Exactly the same. Except one to put in, I think. Or is there two? No, there's two, obviously. Two to put in. Guys, that is not going anywhere. And you can clearly tell that... I just want to drop that behind there, it's a bit better though, I'm not going to lie. But that's not going anywhere. So there you have it. It's called the floating grip. And hopefully this edit's come out well. I'm, I'm going to obviously do some jump cuts, but uh, yeah. Floating grip. It will be the right way around because that is already bugging me, so I'm going to have to work some cable magic out myself. But there you have it, it's the floating grip. Literally few teething things with the holes but that's just me and my DIY skills um, I will say that can you, you can move it across to get it central uh, but that is really tight um, I'm not quite sure on that one though in the end that's okay I think that would be better round the back to be fair and I think it's actually supposed to go round the back and I probably will do that and likewise with that that can be round the back as well and that will tidy it up so I'll probably do that in a second. But there you have it, the final job, floating grip. Good news, I have got a set of these for the PS4 Pro to give away. Click the like, click subscribe. And that isn't the entry. Tune into my Twitter, at Tozol, T-O-Z-O-L. Our website, crankygamesuk.net. Go on to our Facebook page. Basically, I'll be setting a competition within the next week, so we have a few things happening in the background. Within the next week, we'll be giving one away. And it will be across all formats. It'll be just a one entry. Not decided how yet. But if you want one of these, stay tuned. I love them. Thank you very much for Floating Grip for sending me these for review. I like that. And just, just to recap, I'm going to plan to try and see if I can get some LEDs. Some of the sticky LEDs. Let me just tune up. Some of the sticky LEDs. I'm going to try and get them on the back so we can have lights as well. I like that. That's nice. It's out of the way, it's freed me some room, and that does move there, look, but it's fine, it's not going anywhere, it's solid. Yeah, that's fine. I like that. I'm happy with that, definitely. Um, so yeah, there it is, I'm going to stop the video.
we've done. Hope you've enjoyed that, guys. I certainly have enjoyed doing it. And uh, like I say, stay tuned for a giveaway. Bye for now. Bye. I mean that, I think I've done it. Wow. I've done it. Jesus, what? Anyway, woo! We've done. Wow. Guys, apologies for this little bit at the end, but um, the video cut off short and I didn't want to finish it without just giving one last plug to the great product I've just shown you. I hope you like it. And By the way, guys, um, floatinggrip.com actually sell these. They run for about £35. I've got to say, hope you've seen from the video, yeah, the install was a bit my rubbish DIY, but here you have it. And um, yeah, honestly, guys, looks stunning. And if I get lights around it, which is the plan, I think it will look really good, um, and if I do, I'll just post a, a video as well. So, uh, hopefully, guys, that's it. I mean, like I say, a bit of a hodgepodge video. It's the first one I've tried like this. Um, hopefully, it, it shows the product. It's a new one on the market. If you want your PS4 wall mounted, I'm looking at mine now right in front of me, and it's just, well, let me just say it's a little bit tilted, and I've got to straighten it up, but it looks great, and I think some lights around it might absolutely do it fine. And uh, I've enjoyed that. It's been a great little project. And like I say, floatinggrip.com. Big thumbs up to them. Um, go and give them a like on their video. Um, the young lady in question who fits it way better than what I did, I may add. Um, but anyway, it's a great product. I like it. Such simplicity. Very minimalistic, but it does the job. And I can promise you, it's secure. It's not going anywhere. Providing you screw the screws in, providing you put the raw plugs in, that's self-explanatory. So take your time, be careful, and let's not forget, guys, as I've said many times in the video, but I might as well repeat it. I'm going to give one of these away. They've kindly given me an extra promotion copy, and I will be giving it away either on crankygamersuk.net, on Twitter, on Facebook, generally all over. So I'll run the same competition. I've not decided whether it's going to be a question or just basically send your name in. I'll make a random draw. It's going to be a couple of weeks because there's changes coming to Cranky Gamers, and uh, hopefully... You'll win one. Um, and even if you don't win one, guys, floating, floatinggrip.com to go and buy them. They do them for the PS4 Pro and the PS4. Great little idea. Very well implemented. Until next time, guys, give a thumbs up. Click the like. Click subscribe. Do all the usual stuff. Don't forget to join me on our Twitch streams every night in midweek for some gaming. Until next time, hope you've really enjoyed this. Bye for now. Bye.